This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. Hi, this is Ben from Heart Internet, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up email forwarding for your domain name. Now, email forwarding is useful for various reasons. One being, if you already have an existing email address that you use frequently, you can simply forward any new email account you create to this address. This eliminates the need to set up and manage multiple accounts. Depending on how your domain is hosted with Heart Internet, we'll determine how to set up email forwarding for that domain. So if your domain is using a Heart Internet hosting package, then email forwarding can be configured using the Extend Control Panel. Now if you're just parking a domain name with Heart Internet, then email forwarding is configured using your Customer Control Panel. Lastly, I'll be showing you how to set up email forwarding using a domain name that's associated with a Heart Internet hosting package. So firstly, we need to log into Extend as a super user. Make sure super user login is ticked, select the domain from the drop down and click login. Now there are two types of email forwarding available to you. Firstly, we'll look at standard forwarding. Now this allows you to set up individual email forwarders and correspond them to individual or multiple destinations or mailboxes. If we go into the forwarding section. Okay, so on the left you have the input box of where you want to add the email address that you want to be forwarded. And on the right, you can add up to 10 different destination email addresses to where you want this forwarded email to be delivered. So I'll go ahead and fill in some example information here for you so you get an understanding of how it works. So in this one, I'll add webmaster. I, and I wanted it to be forward to, to say, uh, I don't know, webmaster at some domain <laughs> dot com. And uh, another email address I want it to be sent to. And once I'm happy, I simply click the create button. And if I scroll down the page, you'll see the configuration of the email address I've just set up. So webmaster at mydomain.com and the destination addresses. From this section, you can also delete these as well. This email forwarding section is perfect for setting up multiple email forwarders. So now that I've successfully set up my webmaster app forwarder and the destination addresses, I can now go back and repeat these steps and create as many individual forwarders as I like. Okay, so if I go back to the main Extend homepage, I'll talk you through the other email forwarding option you can use, and that's using this section here called Catch All Forwarding. Now, as the name suggests, this forwarding option is a way to catch or reroute any email sent to your domain to the address you specify. So unlike the standard forwarding option where you have to physically set what emails get forwarded where, this simply takes any email sent to this domain and forwards them to any address that you enter in this box here. Now I find the catch all email method extremely useful if you don't have any specific email address requirements for the domain, but want to make sure you receive any email that do so happen to be sent to it. So that should give you a good understanding of how to set up email forwarding with a domain that is associated with a hosting package. Next, I'll be showing you how to set up email forwarding for a domain that's just parked. So that doesn't have an associated hosting package with it at all. Now to do this, you'll need to go to the manage domain name section of your customer control panel. And under the manage domain name parking section, just here, select the domain name you wish to manage and click manage now. Now you'll get the exact same options for forwarding for a park domain as you do for a hosted domain. You have email forwarding or catch all email forwarding. Now these settings also work in exactly the same way, though the layout is slightly different. So I'll give you a brief overview. Now firstly, we'll start with the email forwarding. Okay, so the structure is fairly similar to how Extend works. On the left, you have the email address that you want to create. And then on the right, you have the destination of where you want this email to be delivered to. You can also add multiple locations by clicking add more on the right. If we go back and go into the catch your email forwarding section. You'll see the feel and the functionality of how this page works is very similar to how Extend does. The destination email address box, you'd put the email address you want all emails sent to your domain to be delivered to. 
is so you should have a good understanding now of the different ways you can set up email forwarding depending on your domain name setup. So this concludes the tutorial. Many thanks for watching.